Hey folks, Tony Simmering here, Product Manager at Muto America. In this video, we will be discussing best practices for color management in relation to your Muto printer. A few of the concepts we will cover are importance of color management when using Muto printers, available resources such as the FTP site for Flexi or the download button for Vertolith, explanation of the job properties menu which contains ICC profiles, printer and driver options, rendering intents, spot colors, and how to use soft proofing. Let's get started. To kick things off, color management is critical for producing accurate and repeatable jobs. Configuring your RIP, specifically Vertolith, correctly will not only save you time, but also money, as your chances of reprinting and chasing down quality issues will diminish significantly. Depending on whether you are using FlexiRip or Vertolith, there are resources available for you to download, such as ICC Profiles. To access ICC Profiles for Flexi version 19 and newer, navigate in a web browser to www.muto.com and under the Support tab, select Public FTP. Next, click through Printer Information and Manuals, Printer Model, Profiles, and there you will see the available profiles that Muto provides as a courtesy for you. Now for Vertolith, when browsing the Print Environment Settings, under Printer Profile, select Download. Here, you can download all of the available profiles that Muto provides as a courtesy for you. Next, I will briefly explain the different components related to color management in the Vertolith print environments. With the print environment settings open, we will start at the Printer Profile tab. The Profile group is a group of ICC profiles that share a commonality. Typically, they are the same type of media, for instance, Avery 1105. Next is the color mode. This can vary slightly depending on if you have a model with additional color options beyond CMYK. After that is the accessible profiles themselves from within that group. Sometimes there can be multiple to represent different resolutions, material finishes such as gloss or matte, or different weaving effects for banding mitigation. The profile information text box will provide insight to those features. We have already figured out the download button, but below that is the printer options button. This area is where we can control driver settings. In general, it is a best practice to leave these settings alone, unless your dealer or Muto tells you to change something. These settings were set when the profile was created and are the optimal configuration. Now, if we navigate to the color management tab, you will see an input profile section, as well as rendering intent. The input profile can be changed depending on what color reference you are using. I typically like to use Grackle 2006 for CMYK files and Adobe RGB 1998 for RGB files. As for rendering intent, I typically set both vector and raster to relative color metric, though a raster can sometimes have more accurate visual output with Perceptual. The final thing I will mention in the print environment settings is spot colors. If your job has any spot colors or any cut contour data, they will be displayed here and can be edited accordingly. One cool feature that both Flexi and Vertolith offer is called soft proofing. This is the ability to get a more accurate screen representation of what your job will look like before it's even printed. This can be achieved by clicking the Soft Proof button at the top bar. I hope this look at the different settings in Vertolith will help you achieve accurate and repeatable color for your customers. Happy printing!